artificial lighting aggressions. Uh, lighting aggressions normally is done using two methods. You can have so many methods of doing this. You have the first is the Lumen method, which determines the light levels in a large open areas like the workshops, uh, warehouses, and all other places. Uh, the second is the point calculations where you are determining the light on a spot. So for this, uh, we use the inverse square law of illumination and also the cosine law of illumination. Of course, we'll be discussing this in detail later. So for the lumen method calculation, this is valid for the luminaires that are mounted overhead on a regular pattern. So like... Um, in a classroom, ordinary classroom, you can have uh, the luminaires um, mounted in a regular pattern. And also, it's valid for the luminous flash output, that is the lumens for each lamp need to be known for this. Whenever you want to calculate this, you need to know the, uh, the flux output alongside with the luminaires and the room surfaces. Whether the room surface is going to be white or black or whatever, or their reflecting capabilities, and also the luminaires that we are going to use, the type of luminaires. Of course, we'll be looking at the actual luminaires uh, that uh, we have. We'll be discussing them, their advantages and dis uh, disadvantages. But in the meantime, we're more concerned with uh, how do we calculate the number of uh, lamps that we may need or the level of the luminance that we may need in the room. And the luminance is usually provided by the designer based on the function of the room. If it is a reading room, it has its own um, values of uh, the luminance. And if it is um, uh, the dining room, it has its own uh, levels of luminance. So you have different uh, luminance levels which we arrived at after undertaking several research. Like for example, the public entrance halls or foyers have 200 and also passway staircases 100 lakhs and uh, for the wake place uh, that is the fine wake 1000 lakhs so those are some of the uh, luminous which you can uh, read them in the handout that have been provided so to work out the uh, number of luminaires you like we said uh, that uh, you need to know some of the parameters but we use this formula where we have n represents the number of uh, lamps that will be required and e is the luminous level required on the work uh, surface in the lamps and the a is the uh, the working plane area that is the area of the working plane uh, height that is supposed to be in square meters and uh, f is the average luminous flux from each lamp and uf is the utilization factor excuse me and then the mf the maintenance factor maintenance factor is to allow for the light output reduction due to deterioration and the debt so normally the lamp will gather some debt as it uh, work we do not normally clean the actual lamps but Maybe some other people do that, but in most cases the lamps are uh, clean. So that debt may reduce the effect, may reduce the uh, efficiency of the lamp. And the utilization factor is just allow us for the light distribution of the room nails and the room surfaces. There are different room nails which will give different uh, light uh, distribution. So let's look at this example. We have a plumbing workshop measuring uh, 24 meters by 20 meters to have a service illuminance of 300 lux. The lamps to be used each has illuminous flux output of 2,500 lumens and the luminaires give a utilization factor of 0.25. The maintenance factor assumed is 0.6. Calculate the number of the lamps required and suggest the layout of, uh, for the lamps. So working we need to know what we've been given so that we can substitute them into the formula, the formula that I was showing you. So we've been given the utilization factor, which is 0.25, maintenance factor 0.5, and lux is uh, 300. So the illuminous in lux is 300, and the flux is 2,500 lumens. And the area is going to be 20 times uh, 24. 
and that is in square meters. So now substituting the values that we've been given into the equation, in fact, this is going to be very easy to work out. You just substitute the values into the equation and then you calculate out. Then it's found out to be that uh, we are 384 lumps. But it's not always that uh, you are given those straight figures. Sometimes you may, re you may be required to determine the illuminas uh, given the number of lamps and other things. So it's a question of transposing or making E the subject of the formula or maybe you might be asked to work out the flux, luminous flux. So it's a question of making F the subject of the formula. So since we've been asked to work out the, to suggest the layout for the lamps, the possible layout could be uh, 16 by 24 or in this case that is uh, we could have uh, uh, 16 columns or the lamps and also 24 but in this case we have a workshop which is measuring 20 meters by uh, 24 meters by 20 meters so it's better to have uh, a bigger number of lamps uh, the, in, in the rows as opposed to maybe the columns so the columns or the, the columns is going to have uh, 24 uh, lamps and uh, the rows are supposed to be 16 lamps but also you can ha use this layout which is 12 by 32 but if you were to use this it means that uh, maybe the spacing for uh, the lamps the column wise they are going to be tight too tight so maybe i believe uh, 16 by 24 is is okay by me and uh, as for the layout you normally in the length wise you normally arrange the lamps in a a way that uh, you have the lamp from the wall to uh, uh, the first lamp uh, is supposed to be half the distance between the spacing uh, inside uh, the inside spacing of the lamps as you can see that uh, we have uh, the distance from the wall to the first lamp in the uh, first row which is um which is uh, in this case uh, half that of uh, uh, the distance between uh, uh, the, 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 the between the, the first column and uh, uh, the second column. This is so because um, these lamps will be giving light uh, towards the center and towards that that point, and then to avoid having more bright areas on the centers. It is, it, is, it is important that uh, we space them at a further at a at a at a, at a, at a more uh, at, a, at a, 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 a larger distance as opposed to the one that we have uh, on the walls. Uh, the same applies. So it is case to me that uh, if the distance from the wall to that lamp is s, then uh, the distance or the spacing between the internal lamps is going to be 2s for the columns but for the laws you have their own distance because the dimensions are not the same so uh, for the columns so for the laws we also have the formula is the same but uh, the distance may be different in this case as you see we have uh, a bigger spacing uh, for the laws as opposed to, as opposed for the uh, the columns so we also apply the same that is uh, assuming that uh, the distance from uh, the wall to the first lamp in the rows uh, is say x then the distance between the lamps in the, the internal uh, part of uh, the uh, rows is supposed to be uh, 2x so that's uh, the actual formula that we use so based on uh, the dimensions that we have it means that uh, we are going to have 24 lamps. Uh, we, we have 24 lamps in um, uh, 24 columns of the lamps. So the spacing will be 1 meter, 1 meter, 1 meter from center to center. Even if we are using the fluorescent tubes, we measure the distance for the spacing from the center of the fluorescent tube to another center. So it's from center to center when we are placing this. Uh, for the point uh, lamps or spot lamps, so we it's, it's the same from the center to center. So the final layout for the spacing is as indicated. As you would see, we have uh, the length is 24 and also the width is 20 
as it is in this case. So that's what we are time for today. But um, you should also try this exercise to see whether whatever we have discussed has made sense. So uh, work out this, that is a SAS laboratory measuring 20 meters by 14 meters is to have 14, 48 lamps with a service a luminous of 300 lux. Calculate the luminous flux output of the lamps if the uh, luminous give a utilization factor of 0.21 minus factor assumed is 0.6. So for this, um, you don't need to work out the number of lamps, but what you need to calculate the luminous flux output. You've been given the number of uh, the lamps, but now you need to just transport the formulas to work out that. Uh, you are not going to as well determine the uh, layout for this, but uh, I'm interested in um, um, the luminous flux output of the lamps. So once you've calculated, you can submit your assignment to me so that I should check uh, whether you've done it uh, properly or not. Thanks for your attention.